Oh, it is a Friday, and do we need it in the political world? Here we go, and here we are, hanging out with us today. Ashley Davis, former George W. Bush White House official. Scott Bolden, News Nation contributor, former D.C. Democratic Party chairman. Lauren Wright, Princeton University political scientist. And Johanna Mosca, News Nation contributor and former Obama official. Hello to you all. It has been a wild week uh, in politics. We all were hanging out last night for the State of the Union address. We're tired, some sleep. maybe a little yeah, bit. But it's a Friday. Yeah. We're energized. Got some energy. Um, got energy. So the president said that last night, and he's getting a lot of grief well, and I'm from here. within his own party. Here's Joaquin Castro, for example, mm. Democrat uh, from Texas. The rhetoric President Biden used tonight was dangerously close to language from Donald Trump that puts a target on the backs of Latinos everywhere. Democrats shouldn't be taking our cues from MAGA extremism. Is it MAGA extremism for calling? The man who murdered Lake and Riley and illegal immigrants? So there he is look, illegal. <laughs> if you're a person uh, of humanity, you believe that people themselves are not illegal. He did an illegal act. So there is a defense there. But I do hear from illegal my across own. Across the border, though, the way he did. I he think is I... a human being, right? <clears throat> These people but he are somebody. human beings. No doubt about it. But here's the problem with this rhetoric. Very few people who are illegal who cross the, the border border are going to kill someone. They are human beings. And so when we call them illegals, instead of calling them undocumented immigrants, we are dehumanizing them. And I think there is a point. Mm -hmm. To Biden's defense, though, he was talking about this individual that killed yes. her. So he, I mean, uh, I don't think that we need to I, give him anything think, more than what he is, which is a yeah. uh, murderer. Being way too hard on Biden, I can't believe yeah, I'm saying I know, that to Johanna. But we're sticking he, up for him. <laughs> he knew her name. He reiterated the point. He, she was killed by an illegal immigrant, and this is what I don't quite understand about progressives. But they're taking exception to saying the, the illegal. president. Yes, but he is so much closer to their ideal point on preferred immigration policy than Trump, the alternative. And so, why attack the person that's trying to enact the policies that you prefer? I got three people defending. Biden, I have nothing further to do. <laughs> is that what you do as a lawyer? So, Democrats were asked about this today. Obviously, you see Joaquin Castro. He's he's not thrilled with what the president said. Um, Nancy Pelosi, by the way, tried to walk it back mm -hmm. for President yeah. Biden. Hakeem Jeffries, Nancy Pelosi's successor in the House, was asked about it today, and this is how he responded. Joe Biden delivered an incredible speech that was very well received by the American people, beginning middle and end again a hedge he didn't he didn't take this on directly ashley well no i mean i say as a republican he did not talk about immigration which is the number one issue for the election this year until right 40, now at this point in time this it point, was economy and then it became this okay what whatever it's back and forth right. but it is right now 45 minutes into his speech and i actually think this is biden the president's problem is because he has to go to his extreme left because of all these other issues. But, like, he was right, and I, I am sticking well, he, up for him. He's got to balance. Like, all each party has got to balance people on the far left or right, the middle, right? And so I, I just think criticizing him for using that term is a political talking point but it skews the overall power of his message. I understand that... But it's the, a talking it's point your from talking your party. Point. Right, it, it's yeah. within your party. But, but if you... If it's, he went off script, and he, he really did respond to the MAGA right with uh, the, the representative, but if that's the worst criticism is that he used the term illegals when he was off script, then I got to tell you, um, I'm not giving him a pass, per se, because of the left, but... I'm not going to lose any sleep over it because he's struggling with how to fix the border with the GOP that is struggling to not give him a win while the rest of the, the America suffers because of the the illegal immigration issue. My, my circles borders. are the problem saying is, though, it shows... I'm sorry, just real quick. The, the problem uh, is, though, is that the Democrats are con criticizing him, not the Republicans. <laughs> right. That's the Democrats true. are. Right. And my circles are saying it shows that he's, you know, in his 80s. And I would say to that, you know, Good I guess point. Rupert Murdoch right. decided to get married today at 92. Right. And so I think maybe 82 is like the new 40. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying I the don't new have 50. A problem <laughs> giving, <laughs> I don't have a problem giving him a pass on that. Okay. I don't. All right. Thank you for watching, and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below.
to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.